In this demo, we're going to connect and disconnect our Zerion wallets from an application. And I'll let you know what permissions you give an application when you connect your wallet. We're going to use our NFT platform, Phosphor, as the example for connecting and disconnecting our wallets. First, you need to connect your wallet to Phosphor to claim the NFT. I'm going to select Connect Wallet. I'm going to select the MetaMask button to connect my Zerion. Even though Zerion is not an option, if you select MetaMask, Zerion will pop up. My Zerion wallet is now popped up. I'm going to select continue with Zerion. When you connect your wallet, you allow an application to read your public address and to send that public address future requests. Zerion is telling us that in the pop-up. Allow Phosphor to see your balance and activity to send requests for approvals. It cannot sign a transaction without your approval. Now I'm going to select connect. Now that my wallet's connected, I can claim the NFT. So I'll select claim now. Confirm and claim. The NFT is now in my wallet and claimed. It's best practice to disconnect your wallet when you are done with an application. There's no real risk in leaving your wallet connected to an application. However, it's listed on a public registry of every wallet connected to that app. And some people might look at that registry and then airdrop spam tokens to those accounts. So that is the biggest risk. You're leaving your public address out there to potentially get spammy tokens. So it is best practice to disconnect your wallet. I'm going to click on the Zerion logo in my browser and then the settings icon. Then connected sites, revoke all. Yes. And now I'm no longer connected to the application.